in this video I am going to be talking about my personal views about what St Paul had to say about singleness. This is a really important topic because it's one we hear a lot of from the church and it may affect how you go forward in your life in regard to dating. Hi, my name is Catherine Gray. It's great to have all our current subscribers with us here on our Christian Dating Coaching channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do click the little red button below and then you can subscribe for free and you won't miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's get started. St Paul is often banded about as someone who was greatly in favour of singleness and he's often quoted as saying that singleness was the best and preferred state. The verse that's most commonly used here is 1 Corinthians 7 verse 8. Now to the unmarried and to the widows I say, it is good for them to stay unmarried as I do. Personally, and not just because I run an introduction agency, I don't think it's very helpful to take these Bible verses as gospel and to view them in their own context without doing some serious study about when Paul was writing, to whom and what the context of his letter was. When we do that to any part of the Bible, i.e. look at a verse without its context and background, we run the risk of interpreting it quite wrongly and as a result misleading ourselves about what God wants for us. St Paul was writing to the Corinthians within the context of expecting Christ to return very imminently. When we realise this, everything changes. There was an urgency in what he wrote. There was no time to lose. We know this from his other writings and from studying his life. He confirms it in verse 29 when he says, What I mean, brothers and sisters, is that the time is short. Think about this like this. Imagine you knew the world was going to end in two days' time. If you didn't have to leave the house, would you fill your car with petrol? No, of course not. Now, I know it's not a great example, but it's just meant to illustrate that you wouldn't do something that you didn't need to do if you were expecting something else to happen, like the end of the world. That's where St. Paul was coming from. Expecting Christ back imminently meant that he wanted his followers to focus all their time and energy on preparing themselves for Christ. As he says in verse 35, I am saying this for your own good, not to restrict you, but that you might live in a right way, in an undivided devotion to the Lord. It's my personal view that if St Paul had known that Christ's return wasn't imminent, i.e. the lifetime of the people that he was writing to, then he would have written very differently to them. And I suspect he'd have said very different things to single people. As I said, these are my personal views and you should make up your own mind about it after some serious Bible study and prayer that takes into account everything that a variety of scholars and theologians say about the passages you're looking at. Don't just take that verse out of context and think that God wants you to be single. It is not necessarily like that. Of course, you should also consider what God says to you in your own prayer time about the passage. But I think you might find that he wants you to be with someone, like he said in Genesis. So that's the end of my little spiel about St Paul on singleness and I hope it's given you food for thought. It's a really important topic if you are going dating to get your head around. Perhaps if you've liked this topic, put the thumbs up in the box below and give us some comments. I'd really be interested to hear what you think about St Paul on singleness. And finally, please do subscribe. Hit that red button below and then you'll ensure you don't miss out on a single other video from us. Thank you. Goodbye.